Let's graph the linear equation y equals 3x, and we'll do this two ways. First, we'll put values in for x, so we find x and then the corresponding y value. Then we'll graph those points to get the graph for y equals 3x. Next, we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's start with x. Let's put in 0. That's a good place to start. If x is 0, 3 times 0, that's 0. So y is 0. If x is 1, 3 times 1, that's 3. And if x is minus 1, 3 times minus 1, that's minus 3. So these are the points that we'll graph for the y equals 3x linear equation. So let's start off with 0, 0. So here's 0x, and it's also 0y. So that's our first point. We have x, that's 1, and then y is a positive 3. So right here. Then we have x is negative 1, and y is negative 3. You can see those points line up. We could even just put a line right over them like that. Put arrows on the end of the line, show it goes to infinity. This is the graph for y equals 3x. I've used three points. You could just use two points. I like using three in case I make a mistake. That'll usually help me catch it. Now, let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b. We have the 3x, the mx, but we don't have the b. If there's no b written there, we can just say that it's 0. So now, b, the y-intercept, that's where the line would cross the y-axis, and it's 0. So we go down the y-axis, and right there, that's 0. Now we can use the slope. The slope is 3, but it's helpful to think of this as 3 over 1, because then we can say rise over run. It's still 3, we just wrote it as a fraction. So now we can go up 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, rise over 1. So go to the y-intercept here, and we go up 1, 2, 3, over 1. And we can do that again. We can go 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Likewise, we could go down 3, 1, 2, 3, go over 1 in the opposite direction down 1, 2, 3, and over 1 in the opposite direction. So we did the first part correctly. This is the line, the graph for y equals 3x. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.